Hello and welcome back to the Epitome HD Demo System training series. This is the second video in a series that results in launching the Epitome IP PBX platform and implementing the Epitome Voice over IP solution. In this video we continue where we left off in session one. Auto provision is an Epitome exclusive function that allows you to quickly get phones running and associated to an Epitome IP PBX. Now that the Epitome HD phones are powered and connected to the LAN with the PBX, we can enter into PBX administration and activate auto provisioning in the PBX GUI. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to navigate to the PBX. So open up your browser and input the IP address of the PBX, which is at default 192.168.1.249. And don't forget to put slash IP PBX. You're going to see the admin login uh, screen appear where you put in the username, which is PBX admin, and the password, which is epitome, I-P-I-T-O-M-Y, all lowercase. Click the Login button and then go to uh, PBX Setup. And I'm going to increase the size here. You can see it better. Uh, PBX Setup and then go to the General uh, category underneath PBX Setup. Under General, um, go to the General Settings. Uh, I'm going to scroll down to this. And you can see Auto Provisioning is stopped. What we're going to do is we're just going to turn this on. Um, you can see that you can use this to create extensions. So now auto provisioning is on. I'm going to scroll down and uh, show you that it's running at this point, and we're ready to uh, go to the telephones. Okay, so we're going to go to the telephones and start programming them for uh, uh, extension numbers and for use on this PBX. Uh, notice that it's in peer to peer mode um, at its default configuration. Press the center navigation button, the OK button, to enter into the menu, and then scroll down to uh, system settings and press the OK button, go to advanced settings, and uh, for the password just hit OK because there is none at default. Go down to SIP, press OK, go to auto provisioning, and then go down to extension number, press OK, and then input the extension number. I'm going to keep it simple and keep the extension numbers uh, associated to the extension uh, model type. So uh, since this is a new extension, uh, the PBX asks you if you want to create it, and uh, we selected yes. Uh, what it's doing is, is it's setting up this extension, and now um, you can see after some period of time uh, passes that it gets uh, configured as extension 220. So now we're going to move on to the uh, 410. At the 410, we enter into the, uh, the menu in the same way, and uh, we use the uh, navigation buttons to scroll down to uh, system settings again and hit the OK button, go into advanced settings, same password, scroll down to uh, SIP and then down to auto provisioning. Uh, on this screen, go to extension number and then hit the modify button and uh, then input the extension number on the dial pad uh, 410 in this case and then hit the OK button. Uh, and then hit OK again and uh, then it's going to ask you again if you want to create it because the extension does not currently exist on the PBX and uh, after some period of time, uh, a few minutes, um, you'll see extension 410 uh, configured on the uh, 410 model phone. Uh, once it is configured, notice the button LEDs are going to be lit uh, indicating the status and you'll have a uh, updating uh, phone configuration indication in the display. Okay, now on to the uh, 320. Um, enter into the main menu the same way. Press the navigation button OK key. And uh, then scroll down to uh, uh, Advanced uh, or System Settings. And then go to Advanced Settings and enter the password, which is nothing. Just hit the OK button. Go to SIP and uh, Auto Provisioning. Go to the extension number and hit Modify again. And input the extension number. It's uh, 320 on this phone. And hit OK and uh, Done on this phone. Here again you're going to be asked to create it. Go ahead and do so and uh, then it starts the provisioning. After a few minutes uh, you'll see these screens pop up and uh, notice the LEDs uh, start to refresh as they get their uh, configurations from the PBX. Okay it's loading the file now from the PBX and uh, you can see the extension number is now set on the uh, two line keys that are available. Okay, moving on now to the 620 telephone. Uh, enter into the menu the same way. Uh, scroll down to System Settings, the OK button, and then go down to Advanced, 
Uh, password again, it's nothing. Go to SIP, auto provisioning. At the extension number, we're going to hit the modify button again. Then you input the extension on the uh, dial pad as you have for the other phones. Hit the OK button. And then hit OK again so that it uh, searches out the PBX. And uh, here again it's going to ask you if you want to create it. And of course the answer is yes. And uh, it's going to go through the auto provision as well. And I've uh, cut out the time lapse between. It does take a few minutes for the phones to come up. Uh, when the provision is successful on this uh, model, you'll see the uh, extension um, uh, lights in four positions. And then we uh, default uh, the bottom four buttons to park in the park location 701 through 703. And that's it. Um, that's the uh, provisioning of the telephones at the telephones. Now you have uh, telephones set with extension numbers. Okay, we've got our telephone set up, but the uh, last thing you want to do is shut off auto provisioning. So navigate to the PBX GUI again, go to uh, PBX Setup and uh, General Settings Auto Provisioning, and just click off.